What's up guys, More Medic one here, and today I kind of want to show you a shop hack of how we deal with golf carts that don't want to run because the charger won't come on because the batteries are below threshold. Really what you're going to have to do, now you can do this a couple of ways. You can do it with a 24 volt charger. And if you don't have a 24 volt charger, you can do it with a 12 volt charger, but you really got to pay attention to what you're doing. You have six, eight volt batteries. Eight times three is 24. So we're charging this bank of batteries right now manually with a 24 volt charger. When this bank is done, you can move your charger over to this bank and charge those up enough to where when you plug the cart charger in that it wakes the system up and it will the charger will take over if you only have a 12 volt battery you can actually charge this 8 volt battery with a 12 volt charger you just got to be sure you're not pumping too many amps in there and you can charge each cell individually until you can come up with enough voltage to make the charger excite and come on. The reason I am making this video is because I have had about a dozen of these carts go dead over the winter holiday. Uh, here in Texas, it got down to uh, about eight degrees before Christmas or right around Christmas time. And now everybody is coming back to work and they're getting on their carts and they're not going anywhere because the batteries have sucked down so low that they are going to have to be rewoken up per se with a manual battery charger when i started this bank of batteries each battery only had about three volts in it so three times three is nine volts but with my charger on as you can tell we're at 23.6 23.5 so far and that's not near enough so i mean you need to, an 8 volt battery fully charged should have about nine and a half ten volts in it fully charged so we're going to let this thing cook for quite a while and we'll uh, come back a little bit later and hook the charger to it and see if the charger will take over Alrighty guys, I was able to charge this bank for a couple of hours and I charged this bank for a couple of hours. As you can tell, our charger is blinking green. It's sensing voltage. Now these chargers will not pump amperage until they see voltage. Once they see the right amount of voltage, the charger will turn on and pump the batteries with the right amount of amperage that it needs. Of course, the amperage is going to be higher when they're dead but we've got about 58.8 58.7 volts going into the system right now so we should be good to go all right guys we got that battery charger charging and hey listen if you get a fault code for the charger uh over timing you may just have to unplug it plug it back in let it go through that cycle a couple of times so it might take you know a couple of days to get these batteries back up to where they're supposed to be but just unplug it plug it back in let it charge if it times out unplug it plug it back in let it charge y'all have a good day more medical one